Hi, I am Alek, you are 3 IQO, and I will tell you about this little board. Uh, Pavel, you are 4 ICI, designed the uh, RF hardware part, and uh, I designed the control software and uh, the control part of this model. Uh, this model can be used in uh, some various ways. Uh, it can be used as a simple signal source controlled from the personal computer. Uh, it can be also used as uh, a standalone signal source, uh, which can operate on four pre-programmed pre frequencies. Uh, the frequencies are programmed by the user from the personal computer, and um, this model can also be used as a simple beacon, which can send uh, a CW text. Uh, or it can send uh, some macro, which also can be useful in various uh, experiments uh, with amateur radio uh, equipment. The model comes with the download cable. You can use it to uh, set the frequencies and other features for standalone operation, as well as uh, operate this model as a simple signal source uh, controlled from the personal computer. So, uh, let's see uh, the software which comes with this model uh, and uh, what can be done using this little board. So, uh, I have connected cable to the model and also I have connected the output of the model to the frequency counter and now we will see how it works in uh, a signal source controlled from the personal computer mode and also how you can program different features uh, for standalone operation. Okay, let's plug it in into the USB port. You can see the flashing LED on the model uh, on startup it flashes five times, indicating that uh, connection from the uh, microcontroller and uh, synthesizer chip is OK. So, let's run the software and see how we can program the different features for standalone mode and how we can use this model in uh, signal source control from the personal computer mode. So, we have connected the board to the computer and established a link between the PC software and the board firmware. Now you can see uh, there are some controls uh, which can be used to control various features of this board. By default, when you connect the board using the USB cable to the personal computer, it will run in uh, signal uh, source controlled from the personal computer mode. You can control the frequency of the model and you can set the power as the output of the frequency chip. I will tell you some more about this setting a bit later. Let's set some different frequency. 1 gigahertz. You can see the uh, model tuned to the entered frequency shortly after we changed the field value. So, uh, the comparison frequency of this synthesizer model uh, is 10 MHz when you run from the internal, internal reference and um, from 10 to 15 MHz when you run from the external reference. Uh, this synthesizer chip has 12-bit fractional modulator, so you can expect that the minimal uh, step size in the upper band uh, when the output divider is not used uh, will be 2.5 uh, kilohertz approximately. But uh, the software uses a special optimization algorithm uh, so with the optimal values loaded into the synthesizer chip uh, the frequency resolution can be much better than uh, 2.5 kilohertz uh, at the most frequency range. 
uh, I will demonstrate you. Let's set the frequency a bit up. For instance, 100 kilohertz up and 20 kilohertz more and 3 kilohertz more and let's set 400 more, 400 gears and you can see that we are almost there and that error is very very small. Uh, here is the frequency we entered and here is the frequency which will be set uh, for the synthesizer with the synthesizer chip limitations in mind. So you can see that we can change the frequency in 100 Gertz uh, steps. This is much finer than the 2.5 kilohertz for the upper band or uh, a half of this step size for the band we currently operate. So now the power level settings. There are five settings. We can turn the model board off or we can set the different level. Uh, <coughs> the power levels correspond to the settings of the synthesizer chip. Uh, the uh, synthesizer chip frequency output um, uh, response is not very flat as well as the output buffer amplifier one. So uh, the real uh, output level uh, changes uh, with the frequency and uh, there are two tables, the three tables in the manual uh, for the different uh, synthesizer chips uh, with the real values of the output level. If you are going to use uh, this board uh, in an application that requires uh, the good spectral purity and the low phase noise, uh, please don't set the power level uh, so that output amplifier works in the uh, compression ra range. When the output amplifier is heavily saturated, the phase noise will be slightly uh, worse than uh, when it operates with the optimal levels. Now uh, let's see the following controls. We have the reference frequency control. If we use external reference frequency, we can, we should enter the correct value to this field. And there are four frequency fields and four power settings, <coughs> which corresponds to the jumpers state on the board. So we can program four different frequencies with four different output levels and change them without the personal computer using the jumpers on the board. These fields are used for the standalone mode program. Now let's talk about the backend mode. When you set the backend mode checkbox, um, you will activate the backend mode control fields. You can set the scan mode, you can set the transmission speed and the backend text. When the scan mode is off, the backend will operate at the one of the four pre-programmed frequency according to the jumpers set. When you set the scanning mode, the 
model will send the entered text and switch to the next frequency. If some frequency is switched off, the model will jump to the next frequency after the switched off frequency. So, in this example, the mode will send the text at 1.2 MHz, 900 MHz, and then at 500 MHz, and so on. The text can include the English letters, Russian letters, and some special markers. The special markers can <coughs> send the pulse for the specific time or the uh, tone signal for the specific time. If you change any settings in these fields, you should save the new settings into the model flash memory. You can do it by pressing the save button The program will report you that a new configuration was saved into the model flash memory. And now the model is ready for the pre-programmed uh, standalone operation. If you are programming several models, or if uh, you are going to use um, different configurations several times, you can save the configuration by pressing the Save Config button and entering the file name. And you can load the previously saved configuration. When you have finished the work and saved the needed settings to the model flash memory, you can disconnect the model and Disconnect the model from the USB port. So, I have programmed the four frequencies enabled scanning and enabled backend mode and set the backend text to true macro one second pause and two second tone. See to the power levels of and 5555 five, five, five dBm. So, the first frequency will be skipped and the uh, model will send text at the 4 frequency firstly because the jumpers are not soldered and then jump to the second frequency, to the third, to the fourth and so on. Ok, let's enable the power and see what happens. We see the model starting and now we see 1 GHz, pulse 300 MHz, 500 MHz and again 1 GHz and the 1 second pulse each time. Uh, let's program another frequencies. Connect the cable to the model. Connect the model to the USB port. You can see the model is initializing. Now connect the PC software to the model firmware. And now we can change the settings. For instance, we can set 1 and 5 gigahertz and we can disable scanning. So we will <coughs> generate 1.5 megahertz and we will disable backend so we have uh, the simple generator for the one f uh, fixed frequency in this configuration save the configuration to the model and disconnect it now disconnect the model from the USB port and apply the power for standalone operation we see the model initialized 
and it generates exactly 1.5 gigahertz as we programmed in the personal computer software. So, this model can be used for various small projects. It can be useful when you make some uh, transfer tests or when you are going to tune some antennas or for the different experiments with the propagation. Um, I think you can find another uh, application for this little board uh, if you like this board, if you like this video. Uh, please tell me about this in comments or by setting the likes. Thanks for watching uh, and goodbye. Seventy three.